Teacher accused of filling in answers for special needs students on a state test is still teaching at that same school. That teacher was just placed on probation by the state. And tonight, we're asking the school district why she's allowed to teach kids again. Channel 9's Samantha Manning live in Marion County for us tonight. And Sam, the school district says it comes down to the nature of the special needs students that she was actually teaching. Martha, the students in her class here at Maplewood Elementary have severe conditions. Some of them can only communicate by blinking. So the school board took that into consideration when they suspended her and she was allowed to return here. Records with the Florida Department of Education say in 2015, Megan Fairchild misrepresented the scores of students when she filled in answers for special needs students. The report says she submitted an answer sheet for a student who was absent. She was also caught on camera on her phone and leaving the room with test materials out. The Florida alternate assessment test for four exceptional education students were all invalidated. Why would that not be grounds for firing a teacher? Well, I don't think it's ever acceptable. The Marion County School District told me Fairchild did not have any other complaints on her record. She was given a 20-day suspension without pay. I think you have to consider that this teacher is in a classroom of students who don't verbally communicate and in fact in, in, in some cases don't even communicate at all sometimes. Now that certainly doesn't make it right what she did, but nevertheless, those are extenuating circumstances. But some parents say 20 days off the job isn't enough. I think it should have been a harsher punishment. Daniel Layton says Fairchild's actions hurt the very students she was hired to help by not giving them a fair shake on a state exam. If they can't perform, then the school needs to know so they can meet the needs of the student. And the state has placed her on a three-year probation, and she's required to take a course in education ethics. Reporting live in Marion County, Samantha Matting, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.